All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back. This time we're here with a little more Prophecy of Pandor. So, uh, in between episodes, I went ahead and did what I said I was going to and hunted down and uh, captured Warlord Zulkar. But then, uh, another guy spawned in, a guy that we haven't seen yet, uh, Sheik Shalavan and his adventuring company. And so, he has uh, 226 right now, and that's after I already fought him once. And the first battle did not go so well for us. We lost about 50 dudes. Um, 50 dudes died. Another, like, 100 or so got wounded. And we only took out about half of them. Because he had, like, 400-something in the beginning. So, we've healed up for the most part. And I think we're ready to go back in and take them on. Um, yeah, hopefully this goes well. <laughs> That's all I can say. We'll see what happens. Sheik Salivan. Ah, oh, what a dick. All right. Come on. You will join your ancestors soon. So, uh, I'm still getting used to using our, uh, our new sword, but one of you guys already named it, and you gave it an epic name. Like, I absolutely love it, and I, I don't think I would have thought of it ever on my own, uh, but you got, you, he suggested that it be called Phoenix Tear. And I think that's a, a really cool name for it. Uh, just because, you know, it works. You guys know. We're the, we're the Dark Phoenix. They're, uh, is that what we call ourselves now? The Black Phoenix? It was when we had black armor, but now we're now we don't have black armor. Um, we're starting to switch into the Noldor armor, so I don't know. Um, but it works, it works, and I, I love the aesthetic of it. And a bunch of you guys did as well. Um, the blue sword looks so sick, looks so sick. Um, on cav on cavalry, still getting used to it, but I, I think it's gonna be fine. Who the fuck is hitting me right now? All oh, these little shits right here. Son of a bitch, get out of here! Look how fast it swings, though. That's what I'm talking about. We might not one-shot people yet, quite yet with it, but it will get to the point, and at that point, we'll just be one-shotting people at insane speeds. Because you got to remember, we are we still have a relatively low weapon proficiency with this right now. Um, we only have a weapon proficiency of like 400 some, 420, blaze it, something like that. Um, it'll get by the end of this series. Oh shit, man! We'll probably be six more than 600. What am I talking about? Probably like seven, eight hundred. If it even goes that high. I'm not sure if weapon proficiency actually goes beyond 600. It's not something I've ever, I've ever tested before. Um, but if it does, that's what we're going to have. Alright, so we're doing a pretty good job here so far, I'd say. But, I mean, you guys see what I'm talking about. The dudes, dude has some tough guys. Like, it's almost worse than the Jat too. Almost worse. Eh, eh it's pretty close, actually. I'd say they're about even. Um, they're just, uh, fuck, oh shit, hold up. Okay, we're about to go down, actually. Oh shit, they they are crushing us right now. Okay, wow, we're gonna have to come back in and fight this dude again. Wow, they stomped the shit out of us. See, these guys are good as fuck. I told you. Alright, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. We're losing this one. So we lost another 44 there. Took out 110 of them. This guy is so freaking tough, huh? God damn. Alright. Alright, let's see how it is. Well, excuse me while I go fuck off and try to heal again. Alright, I think, uh, I think we're finally healed up enough. We're about even with them right now, and that is, that is not a good sign, because they have 61 Dishar Windriders left, on top of a whole bunch of other really decent Dishar units. Man, I did not think this guy was going to be this tough. Have at the knave? Oh, wow, real, real creative there, buddy. Real creative. Alright, we're going to charge right in. Um, I, I tried, uh, when I first went against him, to, to use some tactics, um, but I've come to the conclusion that tactics are really not, <laughs> don't help you, uh, not with our current army composition. Um, not against these unique spawns, I don't know. I mean, there are certain battles where tactics will definitely help you out, but against huge cavalry armies, you, you can't just let them sit, you have to push them hard right from the beginning. Uh, if you let them sit... Um, they'll get out into the open, and you're fucked. They're just gonna pick you, pick off all your troops. Um, cause they, they really excel when there's just chaos on the battlefield. Um, so, by charging in like this, uh, look, the kill feed actually doesn't look too bad there. We're doing alright. Get out of here. Alright, as I say that, the kill feed switches back. So bipolar, this battle. Alright. Once... Another one, another one. Come on, swing at me. Damn it. 
Oh, don't like that kill feed one bit at all. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, um, man, we are going to have to do some serious rebuilding after this, huh? Uh, this is really not uh, helping out, because I, I had plans for this episode. I don't think we're going to be able to do them, at least not for a while. I'm going to have to play on my own for a bit and get our army back um, before we can go in, because I wanted to uh, go attack the Snake Cult Fortress this episode. I don't know if we can do that right now. I mean, we definitely can't do it right now. Um, even if I were to go pick up some more troops, I don't know if we'd be able to. Because we're going to be left with probably about 100 troops after this. Which wouldn't be bad, except that we lost a whole bunch of those Knighthood Order units that we got last episode. Like the uh, all those Knights of the Phoenix and whatnot. Although, that being said, I don't actually have the Knights of the Phoenix with us right now. So we still have all 30-some of the Knights of the Phoenix. It's just we lost a whole bunch of the uh, Rangers of the Clarion Call, Lyran Outriders, and the Phoenix Risen. Um, so, I mean, that's not great either, but... It could be worse. It could be worse, technically. Oh, come on. Give me those arrows. 17 of them. Uh, we are extremely low on health, so we need to sit back and just... Try to pick them off from afar, I guess. Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of these dudes over here. Tell me what we're gonna get. Oh, hello. This guy tried to sneak up on us. Don't think so. We'll get behind him, and we'll just pick him off like this. That'll work. And one left. And that's the last one. Alright, Jesus, man. <laughs> that was something else. Oh, survived with eight dudes left. This is our closest unique spawn battle, I think, yet. Yeah, definitely our closest. Alright. We did it. Come on, baby. Oh, thank God. Thank God we captured him. If we hadn't captured him, I would have been so butthurt, guys. I would have been so pissed off. Alright, well, at least now we got a couple of Qualys gems sent with us. Oh, and that's the other thing. Uh, in between episodes... Oh, wait, hold up. Let's uh, put this back in. Anybody want some of this? Yeah, Leslie wanted a whole bunch because she was still in her dress. Um, in between episodes, I went to... I was like move, I was going around the map, you know, trying to listen to rumors, get some more unique spawns coming in, and we stopped by Reigns. I was like, oh, I think there's some loot sitting in the chest because we've gotten a quest from one of the... Er, uh, it's not a quest. It's one of those rumors where, like, oh, if you pay me 200 bucks, I'll, I'll show you where uh, some loot is in rain. We did, we had, had had that happen a few times. So I was going to pick up all that stuff. There was a Qualys gem sitting in there. So did we... Did I leave one in there and just completely forget about it? I I mean, I guess that, that must have happened, right? Oh, here we go. You are awarded an achievement. Just letting the trumpets play. I like it. <laughs> uh, you have defeated seven of the evil invaders of Pendor and are herewith awarded the title Defender of Pendor with plus one intelligence granted to you by Pendor's grateful people. All right. Sweet. Another skill point. In that case, give me some... Uh, what do we want? I guess we want persuasion, right? That's what we really need to get up now. Yeah. Okay. We'll do persuasion. Thank you very much. So... I guess what we can do here is... We have enough inventory space? Hell yeah, we do. Um, first one. I will accept the Qualys Jump for your freedom. Thank you very much. And number two. Boom. So we're sent with another... Another three Qualys Gems already. God damn. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to Torba and sell this loot off. Um, ooh, I don't think these guys are actually going to be able to afford all of it. Not even close. Okay, what about these guys? A little bit better? Yeah, they can afford the rest, I think. Um, we need some more food, though. They do not have the food, though. Okay, we'll have to stop somewhere else. Um, so, we're, war broke out again with Ravenstern. We are actually the marshal right now, I want to say. And so, you know what we, we could do? Um... Now that I'm thinking about it, what we could do is call for a uh, call for a campaign, and then have all the lords join us when we take out the uh, Snake Cult Fortress. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Okay. Um, Amala, William, I don't need to talk to any of you. Also, Lady Marisad is uh, actually into us now. So, 
I visited her um, at the castle, and all of a sudden we were able to speak poems to her or whatever. We were able to spit game. Um, and we said one that she really liked. We got plus five relationship with her, so now it's actually in the positive, and uh, now she's digging us. So, hey, moving up in the world. We actually have a lady friend. You know, hopefully one that's not going to leave us like the last... God damn it. Holy shit, 435? What the hell is this? I've had enough with you freaking desert fuckers. Ouch. No, we're actually... Oh, no, we're at we're full health. We're good. Just our troops are not. Okay, we just need to shoot down a whole bunch of these units really quick, and then we can get out of here. Because we're not trying to face this whole army. <laughs> not even close. No, thank you. Okay, we've already killed 13 ourselves. Our troops are killing a bunch. We're actually fucking these guys up. So this just goes to show how powerful the Sheik's units were. Because these guys actually outnumber us a whole ton. And we're still slaughtering them. We were even. We actually outnumbered them a little bit. And we got beat. Alright, let's get out of here. Rogue Singalian slavers. Yeah, Jesus. Fuck off. Fuck off. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Single. Come to me, baby. What do you got? Um, What am I here for? Oh, that's right. Tavern. I want to find out where our boy is. Uh, first we'll do this. Anything? No? Okay. Where's Phineas at? Torba. Oh. Can we just... Can we stop by at Torba? I guess we just walked past it. Alright, to Torba we go. Talk to Phineas the Digit and get... <laughs> get absolutely jacked up again. This is our... Elixirs of Archon are like our pre-workout now. We're doing them like every episode. Getting addicted to them. That's fine. It's the good kind of addiction. An addiction that makes us stronger. So, so much stronger. Alright. Come here. Come here. Where you at? There he is. Uh-huh. Give me one. Give me two. Give me a third one. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's another 45 in all of our weapon proficiencies. Three extra to strength, agility, and charisma. Look at that stat, li stat line. We're only level 36 right now. You would not guess that. 471 hand one-handed. 507 archery. We're over the 500 mark already. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So let's uh, what's our controversy at? 60 already. So we might, we might not actually get a whole bunch of lords that'll follow us here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go over to Laria, and then uh, ooh, that's a big Dishar army. Okay. Uh, we're going to go over to Laria, pick up our, uh, I guess, some units. We, we do still have the Knights of the uh, Phoenix in there, so shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we got 546 in Laria right now. So we'll actually want the Empire Armored Crossbowmen as well. So we'll get these guys. We got another 15 Phoenix Risen here. Another 33 Knights of the Phoenix. Um... Get a whole bunch of these dudes. A whole bunch of these dudes. 29 crossmen to go with it. Yeah, let's get the cure guards, actually. The Marinus. Um, hmm. That should be fine, I think. I mean, what are the last units that we want? Just a couple random ones. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Whew, here we go. It's showtime. Um, I started building something new. What I, uh, was it courts? I want to say we're building courts now. No, we're building the university now. All right. So we got that going on. Um, let's uh, go ahead and call the campaign. So who do we send out to do that? Who do I tell to do that? Leslie, you do this. Okay. I really need them to join us here, man. Really need them to join us. Because um, this army is not enough to finish off the rest of them. Uh, Livius Dux, you want to join me? Oh, Kairos Dux is following us. Oh, Le Lord Leonius is. Oh, what bros. These guys are awesome. Who else? Anybody else? Hey, we're actually getting a few people to join. Oh, whoops. I'm 
having them all charge towards a heretic army. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Don't worry, don't worry. No, no, come on. Come this way. Don't worry about the heretic army. You're good. You're good. We're fine. Don't worry about it. It's this way, this way. Uh, Count Draco has founded a chapter house of the Order of the Azure Castle in Stouthart Castle. Huh. Haven't heard of that before. That's new. Okay. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Okay, we're gonna need more than this, I think. I mean, this will give us, like, 450. Eh. Might actually be enough. Um, we just have to get through the 50 Serpent Priestesses and 50 Anaconda Knights. And then we're, then we're gold. I'd like to get one or two more Lords here. There's one. There. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's fucking do this. If this fails, man, I don't even know. As you near the snake cult stronghold, you can see its many defenders manning the walls. It may be a bloody day. Whoo! Okay. Lead the assault. Okay, everybody, hold up. Hold up a little bit. Battle advantage is zero, so that means we probably have about equal numbers to them then. Because um, I don't think our tactic skill is that crazy. Alright, we're going to have uh, our crosswomen sit right here. Have them stand closer. Infantry, cavalry, you guys can both chill right here. Um, I'm going to be careful because they do have, you got to remember, they do have crossbows. And even if our armor is good and they're kind of shitty units, crossbows are kind of a great equalizer. They do a lot of damage even if you do have good armor. Okay, okay. I'm fine to take this fight for a while. Just sit back. Let our units kind of take down some of theirs. We can their numbers up. Hopefully try to kill a few of their better units. I don't know if that's really happening here. I've only seen a couple of the... Uh... Oh, there we go. We got some Serpent Priestesses over here. Damn, come on. Let me get her. Let me hit her. I guess we're shooting too high, actually. I'm not sure now. Hmm... All right, should we go in? I think maybe we should just go in. How's our army looking here? All right, all right, it's something, it's something. What's it looking like up here, actually? We can do this first. Ouch. Get out of here. Oh, ouch, okay, all right. Yep, let's charge, let's do this. We're ready. And now we can get to see what, uh, what Phoenix tier can do in melee battle. Okay, we need to wait for our uh, boys to join us, though. Oh, ooh, ooh, gladiator, you made a... Oh, no, you should not be coming in first. Why are our gladiators coming in first? You're gonna get absolutely shit on. They have no... No shield and almost no armor to go along with it. Okay, we need to get some overheads here. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Just cutting down Serpent Priestesses. Come on, boys. Push through, push through. What are we looking at over here? Ooh, big line. Big line units. Okay. Okay, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. That is awesome. It's so quick. We can get a lot of strikes in real quick and just shield up right afterwards without having to really worry about getting hit. As long as we're timing them right. Okay. So far, so good. There we go, little overhead. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're pushing through. Looks good. There's so many serpent priests over here, though. Can I get another overhead, please. Get out of my way. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're up. Is she dead? Oh, nope. She's now, though. <laughs> I don't know, she was just standing there. I wasn't sure what was going on there. I'm just picking off these certain priestesses left and right here. Whoops, wasn't even aiming at that one in the background. Somehow those shots went through one and hit the other one. That's fine, that works. Okay, we're out of arrows. Uh, let's tell you what, let's go over here. And take out all these units. 
Ouch. Holy crap, this is fast. Ooh, hello. Okay. Gotta remember, Serving Priestesses actually do a lot of damage. You don't want to get uh, hit by them. Oh, Alright, I'm not sure. I mean, I think we're winning overall. I think it's actually about... Yeah, we're winning. We're definitely winning. Not by a ton. Um, not by, like, a ratio of one or two... Or, or uh, one to two or anything like that, but... We are winning. You gotta remember, we only take, have to take out 50 of these Serpent Priestesses and then it's over. Of which, I feel like we've already killed a lot of them. I don't know what our troops are doing, but I feel like we've killed a lot of them. We are also very hurt uh, from doing all that. Okay, so now they're getting a bunch of Cobra Knights coming in. Oh my god, this thing. I, I can't I can't get over this sword, guys. Alright, is anybody actually shooting at me right now? I don't think so. Oh, that dude's throwing shit at us. Okay, let's try to... Uh, I want to sneak back in, but... Oh, there's so many dudes over there. Tell them I'm gonna actually just... Jump out of the castle! Ugh! Oh, they sh of course they shot me in the back as soon as we uh, stood up. Okay. Got some arrows here that I can pick up. Most of these are bolts, though, because it's unfortunately all of our friendlies are crossbowmen. Hmm. That is unfortunate. How are we looking here? Yeah, I mean, we're pulling it off. We're pulling it off. We already killed 200 of them. Server priest is dying. Yeah, we should pull this off. We should pull this off. We'll take some losses. Our friends will take some losses, but it's okay. It happens. I think we actually need to move our, our archers in. This is what needs to happen next. Um, like where? Like there, maybe? I don't know. If we can just get them moving in regardless, that'd be a win. Come on. On my way. Give me some free shots on these dudes. Y'all are... Mm, damn it. Get on my way, boys. I don't want to shoot you guys. Can I get some ammo from any, any of you guys? We could shoot. I don't want to shoot our rangers of the clearing call, though. I mean, we could shoot them to get some ammo, but that'd be a bit of a dick move. We only do that in Parisno. We don't do that in, in Pendor. Drake isn't like that. He's a good leader. Alright. Come on. Ooh. Man, there's still a lot of these units. I can't tell. I feel like... The Anaconda Knights and the and the Cobra Warriors look so freaking similar now. It's hard to tell them apart. It used to be you could tell them apart because the Cobra Knights were green, the Anaconda Knights were just, you know, gray. But now they, they kind of look the same. There we go. One. More overheads. More overheads, please. Mm, we're so low on health. I really shouldn't be pushing forward here. I want this. Or anacondas. God. As soon as we're done with them, though, it's gonna it's gonna get so much easier, so much quicker. But fuck, these guys are lasting way longer than I thought they were going to. Ooh, we just lost our shield. What? Why did we lose our shield? Okay, can I pick up one of these dudes. Come on, I want one of these shields. Got him away. I'm away. What's the kill feed looking like? It's about even now. In fact, we might actually have lost more than they've lost so far. God. Alright. Well, tell you what. Yeah. I was gonna go ahead and take a break until we actually got to... Oh, no. Ooh, come on, get me out of here. Thank you. I was gonna take a break until we, uh... Until we get through those, those Cobra Knights and whatnot, but... Come on, let me hit the shot. Oh, damn it, didn't work. It's gonna take a break, but I don't know if we wanna do that. Um, the unfortunate part is now, there's not many of our units left, it's just a whole bunch of our allies' units, and they're kinda trash. They're not the best at taking out all these upper tier units. Because if you look at it, it's almost entirely the Anaconda and Cobra Knights that are getting kills for, the, uh, for them right now. 
Now, their snake cult armsmen aren't really doing too much, feels like. Alright, tell you what. I'm going to be back in a little bit. Uh, when hopefully this battle has has changed its uh, its tide a little bit. And we've started to break in. Um, hopefully that happens. Okay. I think it's starting to happen. I think we're starting to break through here. The reinforcement waves coming in now. Don't have any anaconda knights, any cobra warriors. It's all just the snake cult armsmen and followers. Yep, here we go. Now we're starting to break through. Alright, it took a while, but god damn it, we did it. We frickin' did it. Alright, give me the shield. I almost got knocked unconscious because I got stuck on those spikes again, and when I jumped out, it flung me down this hill, and we took, like, I'm pretty sure we only have, like, a hit point or two left. Like, we're almost dead after that. Um, so yeah, that was very close. That would have been a very embarrassing way to die. But, okay, yep, all hell's breaking loose now. I think this one's over. Um... I'm going to tell the uh, archers to go right here so they can just try to rain fire down on the reinforcements when they spawn in. That should work. Alright. Yep. Okay. This kill feed is looking good. This is looking really good now. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you guys. As soon as we get through that hard part, oh, I was going to be good. It's going to be easy. But, uh, damn if it wasn't, damn if it wasn't looking uh, kind of sketchy there for a while. And we probably shouldn't be going in here, but whatever. What's the point of this if we're just going to sit back? If we get taken out here, so be it. But I want to get a few kills in before we go. 69. Actually, we should have just let them kill us on 69 and ended on that. Nah. 75. Even 75 is not enough. We need more than that. We need more than that. Okay, now they're spawning in almost stupidly fast. <laughs> I love the sword, man. It's the best for just absolutely destroying fodder. Like, it swings so fast, one shots all of them. We're at, oh my god, we're at 105 kills now all of a sudden. And quickly climbing. Look at the swing! It just appears and chops through them. They're spawning in so fast, the game can't keep up. Oh, that was a pretty small uh, reinforcement wave. Is this it? When was it done? The kill feed is just faded off to oblivion. It's not going to come back for a while at this rate. Because that's the other thing. Not only are our troops killing them so fast, but we're swinging so fast that all the messages from all of our hits and kills are taking up so much room that the kill feed is just, like, gone. It's so far behind. There's one dude left. Oh, my God. Where? Now they're dead now. Boom! We did it! The Snake Cult Fortress is ours! Uh, is it time to go? I can't, I can't tell if you said that the battle's over. I, I assume that the battle's over now. We good? Okay. <laughs> you were victorious. So we lost. Uh, 20 dudes. That's not bad. I mean, hey. If we had tried to take that by ourselves, it would have been way worse. Our allies lost 122, which isn't too bad either. 140. Two lost in total to take out a snake cult fortress. It's not bad at all. We ended up with almost 150 kills. Only one dude was knocked out in that battle. Seriously? God. That was a bloody ass affair. Okay. Uh, anybody want some of this? Oh, yeah, Leslie's updating her whole gear right now. That's fine. Boom! The day is won. The last cultist defender is put to the sword, and your claim their er, and you claim their stronghold for your order. Yes. Ah, the Knights of the Phoenix have an order strong. Wow, we only have thirty guys uh, defending it right now. That's it. I feel like we need a little more than that. I feel like we need a little more than that. What's going on here? We are under orders by the constable to keep you safe, Grandmaster. Oh, so we're officially the Grandmaster now, huh? I like it. Wait, what does it say? The Order Stronghold seems welcoming now that it's cleansed of every trace of cultist presence. Alright, is the courtyard any different? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Alright, I see. I see you. Alright, group, that went well. Um, not gonna lie, that's all I really wanted you guys for. So, uh, good job, and, uh, you can go home.
All right, awesome. And we're probably not going to have Marshalship for too much longer because our controversy is starting to get a little high. But whatever, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go to Mars Castle then and uh, see if that dude has anything to say to us. I want, who is the? Is he just like a regular guard? Because this guard seems to know about everything that's going on in this uh, this order and seems to be giving us orders actually for a while. You bring glorious news, Grandmaster. Yes, and oh wait, hold up. We actually just leveled up to 37. Awesome. 100 renown, some honor. Okay. Uh, you. Yes, in recognition of your leadership, the order has acclaimed you as its next leader. With your presence at the helm, we hope to bring a new dawn to the people of Pandora. Recruitment has surged too, as young warriors wish to join our ranks, and our renown is greater than ever. All thanks to you. May your custodianship be marked with honor and glory. Uh, I thought you would like to know we've already set masons uh, and laborers to rebuild the despicable snake cult fortress or stronghold into a fortress more suitable to our order's stature. Work should be completed in about two months. Okay, that'll take a little while, but that's fine. Oh, what's this? Before anything else, Grandmaster Drakehart, we have received a new advanced crossbow from our contact in Mettenheim. Since you are an accomplished crossbowman yourself, maybe you'd like to try it out. What? The secrets of making Mettenheim Arbalists are now known to the Knighthood Orders? What is this? What the hell? We didn't get this last series. Hold up. I'm gonna check this out. Mettenheim Arbal. 100 piercing damage. Holy shit. That is insane. Okay. Speed rating of 45, it's pretty slow, but, uh, man, okay, that's, uh, that's one we're gonna have to keep, <laughs> um, okay, you've been awarded an achievement, persuasion went up by one, oh, nice, you have risen through the ranks of a knighthood order to become its grandmaster, a, pos or a position of considerable power and influence among the elite soldiery of Pendor. Your exalted title wins you plus one persuasion. You are a force to be reckoned with. You're goddamn right we are. Oh, man. That was nice. Okay. Let's, uh, tell what. Let's actually go talk to our lady friend. After all this battling, we could use some, uh, some comfort time. We're gonna Netflix and chill. Sidonius Legatus. Oh, so, see, see, the father just left? We're definitely about to Netflix and chill. What's going on, Lady Marisid? Guards are giving me winks. They know what's happening. They know what's going on. Oh, shit. Her nurse is here. All right. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Do you like poetry, my lady? I got some more for you. Hey, she liked that one, too. Kind of. Plus three. So we're up to seven with her. We're, hey, it's moving. We're moving. I like it. All right. Well, let's tell you what. We'll head back to Laria. Um, drop off most of this giant army that we have now. And, uh, actually, what I've kind of forgotten to do recently... Uh, okay, peasant army is spawned in, whatever. What I've forgotten to do recently is, uh, check out our, our chest in here. Because I, apparently, whenever you take over a town, whenever you own a town, there's something unique in each of the chests. Ah, there you go, look at this. I got a bunch of cool stuff. Larian, Larian Gelding, uh, Noldor Infantry Helm, Hawkstorm, but, ooh, the Hawkstorm bow is actually pretty good. 30 piercing damage, 5 power draw? Yeah, that's very good. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and put our Menheim Arbalest in there. Uh, we'll keep the Ruined Bastard Sword for right now. Um, Hawkstorm Bow, we'll take to sell to somebody. Take the... Or not to sell, to give to somebody. Noldor Trade Goods, we'll sell them off. Who are we going to give this Hawkstorm Bow to? Like, Greg? Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to give him to Greg. Does he? He doesn't have one yet. Yeah, here you go. Where you at, Greg? Boom. Take that, and we'll even give you these arrows. Hey, what do you know? Greg's actually, actually kind of looking like a, uh, like a Knight of the Clarion Call now. Sweet. What are your skills looking like? Yeah, archery is only 60. He's got some, he's got some work to do. That's fine. All right. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and sell the rest of this off. And then I think, I think we can go ahead and end it off here. So very, very productive episode. I've been loving these last couple episodes of Prophecy of Pandora. Um, three Qualish gems spent this episode. 
One that we probably forgot from earlier on in the series, I assume. Um, and then two more that we got from Unique Spawns. We became Grandmaster, took out the Snake Cult Stronghold. Yeah, shit's going well. So, as always, guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy, guys.